Welcome to the 2019-20 FBISD Film Fest. I'm Charles Dupree, Superintendent of Schools, and I am proud to welcome you to this event that distinguishes Fort Bend ISD from all other public school districts in Texas. Our students are so talented in the way that they make short films that represent their beliefs, the things they care about, express their feelings, and the Fort Bend ISD profile of a graduate. I'm proud that we're able to continue on with this program, even with the pandemic, because the films were turned in for evaluation before spring break, before we went to online learning. I'm thankful for all the staff and students that helped to produce this evening's event, and I want to congratulate all the winners. And now I want to turn the program over to our host for the evening, Pecan Grove Elementary Principal, Dr. Ternay Hill. Thank you so much, Dr. Dupree. And thank you to the Board of Trustees for all of your hard work, your leadership and support during this time, especially with our young filmmakers and our film fest. Hello and welcome to the 2019-2020 Fort Bend ISD Film Fest Awards Ceremony for Elementary. I am Trine Hill, Principal of Pecan Grove Elementary, and I will be your host for today's inspiring event. This year, teams of students from campuses all across the district competed to win awards in six categories, documentary, narrative, profile of a graduate, 60 second short animation, and 48 hour weekend challenge. Continuing the tradition from last year, we have a category for teachers to submit videos to highlight their talents in the classroom around the theme, profile of a teacher. There are also several special awards that will be given out at the end of the film festival to include the coveted Best Picture Award. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. It all started back in January with a daunting task, the 48 hour video challenge. Students had to write, shoot, and edit a minute video in all just 48 hours. The video was required to include three key elements. Those elements were a clock, the sound of dripping water, and the famous saying, Houston, we have a problem. So let's look at the winners for the elementary 48 hour challenge. Fourth place goes to Water Leaks by Lauren Nelson from Leonetti Elementary. Third place goes to The Leak by Paige Hoer from Pecan Grove Elementary. Second place is Helpful Houston by Ananya Gull from Malala Elementary. And first place goes to A Flood of Bravery by Lama Caravaglia from Cornerstone Elementary. There are 525,600 minutes in a year, but students had to craft only one of those minutes into a 60 second film. From animation, life lessons, and everything in between, the 60 second short film category requires students to tell a story with laser focus in under 60 seconds. Let's look at the winners for the elementary 60 second short. Second place goes to Shark by Carlton Humble from Meadows Elementary. And first place goes to Can You Escape by Armani Wilson, Autumn Green, Zam Zam Yaku, and Adelie Ibarra from Meadows Elementary. In 1928, the first animated film with sound was released. It was a series of short films called Song Cartoons. From there, we now have classic animated films such as Pinocchio, Shrek, and Toy Story. Let's look at these budding winners in this category of animation. Second place goes to Pammy and Duffy's Amazing Adventure by Bruin Hubbard, Michael Scott, Pedro Cabal, and Daniel Vargas from Colony Bend Elementary. And first place goes to Houston's Bubble Trouble by Ananya Goal from Malala Elementary. Narrative films take characters or events and spin them in such a way that you believe the story is real. 
From floating 20,000 leagues under the sea to saving Matt Damon on Mars, narrative movies take us on fun adventures. Let's take a look at the winners in the elementary narrative category. Fourth place goes to Diva Learns a Lesson by Sophie Jean from Colony Bend Elementary. Third place goes to Fortnite vs. TikTok by Aubrey Jones for Congrove Elementary. Second place is Always Be Kind by Allie Ilias from Holly Bend Elementary. And first place goes to Rocks by Lily Ansel, Sophie Collier, and Emery Banks from Pecan Grove Elementary. The first Academy Award for documentaries was given to the 18 minute long film, The Battle of Midway, produced by the United States Navy in 1942. Students in the documentary film category explore hard-hitting issues and can provide a platform for students to educate their audience on a variety of topics. The nominees for elementary documentary film are Fourth place goes to South Korea by Paloma Reed from Meadows Elementary. Third place goes to Top Three Wildflowers by Brooke Leifrey and Delaney Fulgham from Meadows Elementary. Second place is How to Make a Fortune Teller by Madeline Edwards from Pecan Grove Elementary. And first place goes to Robots by Mohammed Azan Noman from Meadows Elementary. For this category, our elementary school students were asked to create a video that exemplified the traits we hope our graduates will exhibit upon graduation. These include students who are equipped with skills for life, servant leaders, compassionate citizens, effective communicators, critical thinkers, collaborative team players, and lifelong learners. Our winners in the elementary school Fort Bend ISD profile of a graduate category are. Second place goes to Brooke the Bully by Maya Broom, Emma Rose Melbourne, Trinity Simpson, and Issa Odidi from Patterson Elementary. And first place goes to Critical Thinker by Arthur Joe from Colony Bend Elementary. What is your why? Fort Bend ISD has over 5,000 teachers who reach out and inspire over 76,000 students every day. The theme for the FBISD Film Fest Teacher category this year is Why I Love My Job, which showcases our teachers and what drives them every day to equip our students to pursue futures beyond what they can imagine. And the winners of Why I Love My Job Teacher category are Second place goes to A Love of Learning by Lauren Crittenden from Colony Bend Elementary. What I love about teaching is hard to express in words. Introducing students to new ideas, topics, products, or forms of expression that spark their interest, creativity, or love of learning is the most amazing part of being a teacher. What I love about Ms. Crittenden's class is that um, there's coding robotics, and I think it is a fun and great experience for everyone. The thing I love most about her class is that we get the freedom of relaxation. What I love most about this class is that Ms. Crinton makes everything fun for us. It makes my day to see the look on students' faces when they finally get a concept they were struggling with. I love to see students excited and engaged in something that we are doing in class. 
This spark of excitement that becomes a love of learning in innovative and personal ways fosters my love for my job. And first place goes to The Joy of Teaching by Joey Diary Blaine from James Reese Career and Technical Center. One of my favorite things about teaching is when I see a student really get passionate about something that I'm teaching and they run with it. Uh, and then all of a sudden that becomes their big focus. And uh, that really, really brings me a lot of joy. What Miss Lang loves about her job, the students. She really loves and adores us. She loves all of us. Really the best things about being a teacher have nothing to do with the content um, that I teach. Those things are the bonds that you develop with your students, the getting to know them and understanding their perspectives. Uh, and then, you know, kind of giving them a little life coaching here and there. Sometimes it's don't make the same mistakes I did. Uh, and then sometimes it's just being a cheerleader. When I was in school, I didn't really care for it very much. I didn't really have a lot of motivation to be in school uh, or try very hard, but there was always a teacher that would step in and motivate me and inspire me and make me uh, see the importance of it. The ones I remember the most are the ones who made me feel that I actually mattered. I love a lot about my job being a teacher. Thank you to all our teachers that submitted their films and also to all of our finalists. Your why helps make Fort Bend ISD a great district. This last set of awards spans elementary, middle, and high school and truly represents the best of what our students have accomplished this year. Everyone nominated should be proud of their accomplishments. These students have set the bar high for future Film Fest participants. For the special awards, a panel of judges viewed the films and looked for those films that truly embody a part of the filmmaking process. Whether it can be the creative camera angles or a storyline that stood out, these films set themselves apart in some way. For films we have already viewed earlier, we will only see a snippet of that film. Let's take a look at the winners for our special awards. The People's Choice was selected by the judges for a story that resonated with its audience and had that certain something that stood out. The People's Choice Award goes to Legacy by Artem Koken and Tyler Klingman from Port Settlement Middle School. From the groundbreaking effects in The Matrix, to the touching moment between Spider-Man and Iron Man in Avengers Affinity War. Cinematography encompasses everything to do with film angles, lighting, and the little things that help add to the story. The winner of the Best Cinematography Award goes to Diversity is a Necessity by Leah Sutton from Austin High School. Whether it starts from a fairy tale or in a galaxy far, far away, weaving together characters into a compelling story starts with a great storyline. The winner of the Best Storyline Award is The Struggle to Sign by Carolyn Wynn from Clements High School. The best picture was selected by our judges for its overall incorporation of a great story, use of cinematography, and cinematic excellence. The 2020 Fort Bend ISD Film Festival Best Picture goes to Perfect by Daniel Apega from George Bush High School. That concludes our award ceremony. We hope that you all have enjoyed seeing our students shine and we look forward to seeing more and more of your films next year. Be safe and have a phenomenal rest of the school year.